Um, so today I want to go over how you can get your items sold in big name stores like Walmart, uh, Target, Family Dollar, you know, those type of stores. Okay. <clears throat> so in this video, I'm going to show you what you need to do. I'm not going to show you how to fill out the application because it is a process. Like it's something that might take a while. So the process is not is not an instant process, like, you know, selling your stuff on amazon.com, you know, it's very different um, compared to like selling on Amazon. So what I'm gonna do is share my screen, okay? I'm gonna share my screen and I'm going to show you um, the websites that I pulled up on how to do this. So the first website I wanna start with is Walmart. And to become a supplier, there are like several requirements. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is scroll down. I'm gonna just go, I'm gonna start over. I'm gonna go to walmart.com so you all can see it from the beginning. So basically you will go to walmart.com and you will scroll all the way down at the bottom of the website on the footer area. So you go to the footer, okay? And it says right here to our supplier. So you will click on where it says get to know us. And then it says our suppliers. So you'll click on that. Oh, excuse me. And it says become a supplier. Okay. So basically it says, it says our suppliers help us meet the needs of hundreds of millions of customers each week with responsibly pr produce products and services. This is want to join the thousands of other businesses around the world that proudly call themselves Walmart suppliers. Take a look to learn more about us and what it takes to become a supplier. So, you know, you read over the information. Um, they do have requirements. Okay. So we're going to click on the, the requirements to start selling in Walmart or providing a service in Walmart. Okay. So basically it tells you which items are prohibited from this program. Um, you do have to have a TIN, that's a federal tax identification number. So you need one of those to do it, okay? And then you need a Duns and Bradstreet registration. So here's the thing, if you watch, um, I'm gonna leave the link up in this in the cards, but I was showing you how to get a Duns and Bradstreet. I was telling you how to get a Duns number. So you're gonna need a Duns number to sell in Walmart, okay? So um, yeah, right here, it says you could call, um, I think it's Duns, it's Duns and Bradstreet. So you could call Duns, you know what I'm saying? You could apply for the number. Once you get the Duns number, which is the business credit profile number, you're able to, you know what I'm saying? Start the process which you selling inside Walmart. So um, you have to have a UPC, so this is that they require a GS1 company prefix number on your application document. So that's kind of like those UPC numbers or something like that, where, you know what I'm saying, you see the little code on an item and then they scan it at the register. So that's what that is as well. So it also says that you have to have a factory capability and, com and capacity audit. So this is like some, I don't know, this is some other stuff right here. So yeah, like, I don't know what that's all about, but it says security source tagging. Um, it says high price products often require inside theft tagging. So, you know what I'm saying? You have to have like the little, you know, like the little piece on the clothing and stuff like that, or the little circle, the little sticker circle that prevents people from stealing, you know, high ticket items. So you would need that as well. And so, um, insurance requirements. So this is very important. So think about it. You're selling your products in a big brand, big name retail store. And you know what I'm saying? Like the store is liable to being damaged. Like, you know what I'm saying? Things can happen. And then, you know what I'm saying? That means you'll lose sales with your products. If there's a problem in the store, like if there's a natural disaster or anything like that. So, you know, you can lose a lot of money. So they do have insurance requirements. And so, you know what I'm saying? It's a suppliers of product to any of Walmart's family or retail platform, resale platforms, platforms are required to demonstrate financial responsibility. So um, yeah, like some of these stores, you know what I'm saying? Like you have to have business insurance, okay? So it tells you what type and basically you just read over that.
all right? And so you have to go through audit certification and testing. So, you know what I'm saying? It's not just an easy process. Like it, it's, it takes a minute, you know what I'm saying? To, you know, get qualified to sell inside Walmart. So yeah, it's a lot, you know what I'm saying? So that's how you, um, you know, go about applying to sell your products in Walmart. So now I'm going to go to Target, okay? And basically with Target.com, I'm going to go back to the main website so you can see what I'm going to click on. All right, so you're going to scroll down at the bottom of the page for Target.com. And you're basically going to um, scroll all the way down and you're going to click on more. No, hold on one second. You're going to click on more. Hold on, I might be going to the wrong thing, but uh, affiliate, no, suppliers. So you're going to click on more and you're going to go to suppliers. And then with the same thing with Target, they have their requirements, okay? They have their requirements or whatever. So, you know what I'm saying? You want to you wanna click on, I like to sell products at Target, okay? So you click on that. And there's a form that you fill out. Now, you fill out the form and you select what you want to sell, whatever, and you hit submit, but it doesn't really say, let me see here. It doesn't really like to say, um, oh, here it is right here. So it tells you what you need to do. Like if they give you more information about selling in Target. And it's basically the same page I just, where I was just at, but this is the rules right here. So you can find out all the rules to sell, to become a supplier and target. So I just wanted to share that with you all. And like I said, this is a process, you know, this is not going to happen overnight. You know what I'm saying? You may think, oh, I got a product. I'm ready to sell it. No, there's a lot of stuff that goes, that goes through the process. You know, you have to do, you have to test your product. Like it's a lot of different stuff. And then, then it depends on what you sell. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? To like, uh, sell actually in Target. So they probably have a lot of, they probably have requirements for everything that you're trying to sell, not just like t-shirts, you know, um, beauty supplies, like there's levels to it. You can't just apply and think you're going to get approved to sell in these retail stores because they have a lot of requirements. So the next store is Dollar Tree. All right. So let me uh, go to dollartree.com which I'm already on. So it's dollartree.com, right? And if you want to sell in Dollar Tree, you're going to click on, um, let me see. You are going to click on uh, partners, okay? So basically, you're going to go to dollartreeinfo.com uh, forward slash vendor partners. So basically, you will look at this part right here on the website and it will tell you how to do it. You know what I'm saying? I'm just showing you the information. I haven't even applied, you know what I'm saying? But um, yeah, you can, you know what I'm saying? Go through this and read the information, uh, supplies and services, merchandise. Uh, yeah, you can click on this and pretty much get all the information that you need to sell in Dollar Tree. Um, the next store is Dollar. The next store is Dollar General, okay? So if you want to sell in Dollar General, go to dollargeneral.com and then you're going to click on partners and you're going to click on um, new, new vendors, okay? So yeah, so it's a showcase your products, uh, get your products discovered in Dollar Tree, okay? You're going to create a free profile and I don't know, it seemed like, <sighs> it seemed like, excuse me, it seems like the requirements wouldn't be like, you know what I'm saying, compared to Walmart, so difficult. But what you're going to do, you're going to watch this video on the web page, okay? You're going to watch the video and you're going to set up a free account, okay? Well, a free profile. And so, yeah, like you basically could get your products discovered through um, Dollar Tree. And last but not least is Family Dollar, okay? Family Dollar. All right. So with Family Dollar, they're actually like connected with Dollar Tree. So it's the same process. Um, you will basically um, click on vendor partners with Dollar Tree. 
I mean, with Family Dollar, and it brings you to Dollar Tree. So you can see Family Dollar and Dollar Tree, how they're connected with each other. So yeah, this is what I wanted to share with you all. You know, if you are really trying to take your business to the next level, especially if you have products, I would look into this stuff because number one, when it comes to, you know, selling products, okay, if you're doing online sales, you know, it's sometimes it's very difficult to get people to come to your website, to, to, to learn more about what you have to offer. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, if you sell in a big name store, you have access to everybody that shops in the store, you know, picking up stuff, you know what I'm saying? Like, it just makes it a little bit better for your business. Like you can actually make more and more money if you're selling in, you know, big box stores, um, where you're part where you're partnered with, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, it's just really better in my opinion. Um, my goal is to get my clothes, my shirts and my accessories, uh, sold in target at least, <laughs> excuse me, at least target. And yeah, like I'm definitely taking it to the next level. It's going to take a while. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I, I just want to let you all know that. So if you have any questions about anything I said in this video, uh, leave the comment below, you know, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So I'm gonna leave the link to um, done, getting a Dunn's number. Uh, you can watch my previous video about it. I'll leave the link to my video down in the, in the description box. And I wanna thank you for watching and have a good day. All right, take care, bye-bye.